Well, today's the day. I got the wheels back here. I got the tires back there. It's bright and early in the morning and we're gonna head over here to Discount Tire and see if they can put these new Geo Landers on the truck for us and then we'll see what they look like, so. All right, guys, so I finally got out of the Discount Tire store. Those guys did an awesome job and there they are. Those are the Tactic T741 wheels from Quadratech and the Yokohama Geolander XAT in a 35-1250. I think it looks pretty good. These wheels have a positive six millimeter offset. And you can see that they just stick outside of the fenders a little bit. It's not real bad. It's kind of perfect in my opinion because you got a little bit sticking out, but not a whole lot. And hopefully these things won't throw too much gravel down the side of the truck, but they look pretty good. Now the cool thing about these tires, like I said, they have two different sidewall designs, but I ended up going with these. Yokohama calls it the Mesa. I kind of think they look like scoops or something. I don't know, but they kind of make the tires stand out a little bit more. So I think they look pretty good. Those guys even put some tire dressing on there for me which doesn't do a whole lot of good on a filthy truck, but hey, it was nice of them, <laughs> but there you go. So now all I gotta do is get inside the truck and set my taser so my speedometer will be correct again. But before I do that, I'm gonna set my pressures on here where I want them. I think I'm gonna run them at about 28 PSI, see how that goes. Seems like 26, 27, 28, somewhere around in that ballpark is normally pretty good for a Jeep because these things you know, they don't weigh as much as a full-size truck, obviously. Uh, so we'll try that for a while and see how it goes. You know, if I need to go up a little bit to around 30, I can, but I'm gonna start off at about 28 pounds. And like I said, we're gonna put these things in the mud, the snow, the ice, tow with them, interstate travel, a little bit of everything, and uh, do a long-term review. Now here in just a few minutes, we're gonna head out down the interstate, see how much vibration, if any, there is how much road noise, if any, there is. Hopefully there won't be any. For the time being though, I gotta get these things patched up and uh, you know, as far as my speedometer settings and all that, I gotta get that all fixed up. And I gotta strap down these old KO2s so they won't fly out of the truck going down the road. So I'll be back. So the other thing I noticed when I was going around and adjusting my tire pressures where I wanted them is that these things didn't take very much weight to balance at all. Three of the wheels have between two and three ounces on them, and one of the wheels doesn't have any weight at all. So I don't know if they forgot to balance that one or if it's just that true, but uh, we're about to find out because we're gonna head down the road now. They're a little bit short, just a little bit short compared to some of the other 35s that I've had and that I've seen on other people's Jeeps, but you know, overall, they're not too bad. They look pretty good on the truck and it's gonna work out just fine. So I'm not worried about it. All right, let's set the taser and then we'll head down the road here and see how she rides. All right, so we're gonna go in here and it's sometimes a little bit slow. Those of you who have a taser, you know you gotta go slow through these menus. We're gonna go to the one called Performance and there's your tire size now there's where i had to set it to get the speedometer to be spot on according to gps with the um, factory rubicon tires off of jl to that there's a 332 uh so there's not really a 33.75, but you've got an 80 and a 71, I think it was. So let's try the 33.8. We'll see how close that gets us. So that is set. And then of course, I'll just usually go through here and just make sure everything else is good. Uh, my TPMS, you know, I do want that on. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, bump this down a little bit since I'm running lower pressures. We'll go down to about 26 in the front. 
and about 26 in the rear how about that okay now when you make changes with the taser it's important to reboot everything so we're gonna go over here to where it says full reboot and I'm gonna let it do that um, the reason you want to do this is because if you don't reboot everything and give it a chance to reset then sometimes you can have some issues with this thing so it looks like I'm having a little bit of an issue right now because I told it to do a reboot and it did not do it <laughs> so let's try that again but yeah I mean it's pretty cool having one of these because you can do a lot of different things for example I use this to enable my LED lights on the front you know so when I took the halogen bulbs out and put the LED bulbs in there I had some issues they were kind of flickering on and off and stuff so you know you can go to the dealership and have them do it but I was able to use the taser to just do it in my driveway which was awesome there we go so we'll get this uh, rebooted and then we'll take off down the road and uh, see how smooth she rides hopefully everything is good to go if it is i'm going to be surprised because again that one tire didn't have any weight at all put on the wheel very surprising so these yokohamas are just awesome as far as manufacturing quality goes or the guys at the top out forgot something <laughs> i guess we'll find out in a minute. all right so I did the changes in the taser, I rebooted everything per the directions, and then it said to turn the ignition off, open the door and close it, uh, let everything go black, open the door, close it. Basically you're sending the vehicle through a few what they call sleep cycles, and uh, that should reset everything and then you're good to go. So let's head down the road here. I'm interested to see um, what the balance is going to work out like on these tires so this should be kind of cool all right i'll be right back now these are 10 ply rated you know load range e tires which again is kind of overkill for a jeep but that's the only load rating you can get these tires in right now so you don't really have much choice if this is what you're going to go with um even with the pressures down at around 29 i'm noticing right off the bat that they're still kind of stiff which I guess is to be expected. But uh, just waiting for some traffic to go by here. Oh, and by the way, I've been sucking on cough drops because the weather's trying to beat me down. So I apologize for the smacking. <laughs> Sorry. All right, so we're out here on Interstate 64 and I'm at 65 miles per hour right now. I got the climate controls turned off and the windows up, radios turned off. The uh, Sun Rider is pretty loud, so I don't know if you'll be able to hear the tires over the wind noise. But I'm going to shut up here for just a minute and let you take a listen. So again, there's a very minor hum to these tires. They're not what you would call loud at all. Pretty quiet actually for a, for a pretty aggressive tread pattern. There is just a little, little bit of a hum, but it's, it's not bad at all. And like I said, with the wind noise coming from this Sun Rider, you can't really hear the tires. You have to be listening for them to hear it. So. You know, again, a brand new tire, it's going to be pretty quiet. Um, the true test will be as the miles rack up and I do some cross rotations on them. Then we'll see if they're really going to get noisy or not. But right now, they're, they're pretty awesome. Um, not noisy, not annoying at all. There is a little bit of vibration, but it's, again, that's not bad either. Um, you know, they're pretty smooth at some speeds and it seems like other speeds. Again, you have to be kind of paying attention for it, but just a little bit of a vibration, not bad at all. Overall, the road manners are really good as far as, you know, rolling smooth down the road and uh, the road noise. What I will say is these things are really stiff. 
So, you know, I've had load range E tires in the past and none of them have been this stiff. I mean, this tire, you can tell it's built like a tank. It's a really heavy duty tire because on this Jeep, it's really stiff. I've got the pressures down. You know, I set it at 29 cold. It's up to about 31, 32 right now because we're going down the road and they've heated up a little bit. Um, but anyway, I've got the pressures down where I think they should be and still this tire is really, really stiff. Every bridge expansion joint kind of makes it do a little pogo stick kind of routine. Um, potholes and things, imperfections in the road. You feel everything with these tires. They're really stiff. And I guess that's just a product of it being a three ply sidewall, a 10 ply rated tire. You know, you're kind of going to get some stiffness in it. But, uh, but they're not horrible. I mean, if you're used to driving Jeeps and if you're used to having large tires, you can get used to it, I think. They're not horrible. They're just a little firmer than I expected, I guess. Because uh, those Milestar Patagonias in the same size, of course, those were a load range D, but they still had three ply sidewalls. So those things rode really, really nice. I mean, I put them at 30 PSI. They were pretty soft. They felt really good on the road. So I'm a little surprised at how stiff these are, but again, it's, it's just one of those things. So overall, my initial impressions are really positive. Um, road noise is perfectly acceptable. Um, they balanced out really well. Had two that had what, two and a half ounces, one that had three ounces, and then one that looked like it didn't have any weight at all, but I got under the truck. I stopped back there a little while ago and got under the truck, and they actually do have three quarters of an ounce on them, you know, on that wheel. So uh, small amounts of weight to get these balanced. You know, pretty good. You can tell it's a high quality tire. So initial impressions really positive and uh, you know again we'll just see as winter wears on you know I'm gonna get them in the snow and the ice eventually gonna get them in the mud and we're gonna be doing some hauling and towing out here on the road this tires these tires are gonna see everything and uh, it'll, it'll give me a good opportunity to, to do a long-term review so every you know 5,000 miles or whatever periodically I'll update you and uh, let you know how they're wearing and how the road noise is and and uh, just kind of keep you updated on it but for now you know I still think this is a really really good option if you're looking for a, a oversized tire for your Jeep and you're kind of debating you know do I want to do an all-terrain and do I want to do a mud terrain you know you can't really decide uh, this might be a really good option because it kind of fits in between you know like like some of the other tires on the market. And uh, this, this tire, Yokohama might have a hit on their hands here. This might end up being the next big thing in tires. So, like I said, I appreciate you guys watching. I'll keep you updated as time goes on. But for now, I'm pretty happy with them. You know, these wheels look pretty good on here. The tires look pretty good on here. Seems like they're gonna perform well and uh, time will tell how they hold up. But. For now, I'm going to get off here, so we will talk to you guys later. Have a good week. All right, so now that I'm home, just a couple of things I noticed. They do tend to pick up a little bit of gravel. There's a piece right there, but so far, they don't seem to be as bad as the KO2 at picking up gravel. But you can see that they do pick up a few stones. So we'll see how that works out over time. The other thing is... Then on these KO2s that I took off of here, they were starting to have a little bit of feathering going on. Now these only have 5,000 miles on them. Um, exactly 5,000 miles actually. And I don't know if the camera will pick it up or not, but like when I rub my finger over that outer tread block, you can feel that it's starting to feather a little bit. And again, I doubt that the camera yeah, you might be able to tell it on the camera. The camera usually won't do things like that justice. But I was kind of surprised to see if these tires are already starting to see some feathering out there. Now, I ran those uh, Milestar Patagonia MTs for thousands and thousands of miles, a lot more than these, and they didn't even have that much wear on the outside. So 
I don't know if that's a characteristic of this tire or what, but I thought that was kind of interesting. Of course, the ones that were on the back, they're nice and smooth. You know, no feathering on those, but the ones, you can tell the ones on the front had a little bit of chopping going on there. Um, and the other interesting thing was I measured them and the, the center tread is wearing down faster than the outer tread which generally means that you've got too much air pressure in them, but I was running them at stock PSI, like what the vehicle calls for. You know, these Jeeps usually call for 36 PSI, and that's what I had them at. So just FYI, if you've got these on your Wrangler JL or your JT, and you're running them at stock pressures, you better keep an eye on your tread, because it's probably not gonna wear very well. Anyhow, I just thought that was interesting. All right, so I guess that's good for one day. Got the Christmas parade going on downtown tonight, and it's a beautiful day. Dixie's over there barking at me, so I'm going to go over there and get them out, get them some exercise, and then head downtown. We'll talk to you guys later.